Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the Google Pixel 3a XL and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7. So let's get it started. Okay, so before I get started, there's a couple of things I want to hit on here. And first thing is the price. Now, the Pixel 3a you can buy for $399, and for the 3a XL, you'll pay $479.99. Now, for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7, you can buy it on Amazon for between $200 and $250. Depending on the seller, I paid $215 for mine. So, yeah, about half the price here for the Redmi Note 7 then the Pixel 3a XL. Second of all is the processors. They're very, very similar in both of these phones. You're running a Snapdragon 670 here in the Pixel 3a and 3a XL, and you're running the Snapdragon 660 here on the Redmi Note 7. Both have four gigabytes of RAM and both have 64 gigabytes of storage. However, you can add additional storage with an SD card here on the Redmi Note 7. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get in with this comparison here. Uh, let's check out the fingerprint scanner, see which one's faster. We'll do that right now in three, two, one, now. And the Redmi Note 7 does seem to start up first. We'll try that one more time in three, two, one, now. And there you go. So the Redmi Note 7's fingerprint scanner is a bit faster than the Pixel 3 AXL, but just by, what, a quarter of a second. So it's not a big deal. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the benchmark scores that I got on these phones. And on Geekbench, you'll see a 1628 single core score and 5174 multi core score here on the Google Pixel 3 AXL, and 1635 single core score and 5926 here on the Redmi Note 7. So pretty close in the single core, but it does kind of walk away a little bit more here in the multi core score. Now, if you're looking here on this video, you will see that this screen has a pinkish hue to it. Now, both of these phones here have 1480p displays. This one here has an OLED display, and it has that pinkish hue to it, looking through the camera. Now, looking at it in person, it looks clear, it's bright, vibrant, but on camera, it does have that pinkish hue, so if you're seeing that on camera, don't pay that no attention. That's not how it looks in real life, okay? So let's go ahead and go over to N22 and see those scores. So you'll see here on the Pixel, we did get a better score here at 159,260 and 144,812 here on the Redmi Note 7. So a much better score here on the Pixel 3a XL. However, benchmark scores don't mean anything. I just run them for fun to show you the differences between two phones, but benchmark scores really don't mean anything at all. So let's go ahead and go back home. We'll clear all these apps out right now. Everything's cleared out, good to go. And before I get started, I do want to say that these speed test comparisons, you know, are just my experience between these two devices on my Wi-Fi network, okay? Depending on how fast your Wi-Fi, your LTE is, how fast, how slow, what it's really going to all depend on how fast these apps open. If you've got slow internet, it's going to be slow. If you've got fast internet, it can be faster than what you see here. But I run these tests side by side completely cleared out, everything's the same, animations are the same, the same launcher, everything's the same. So, you got a stock experience here with a Pixel 3 AXL, you're in a MIUI here on the Xiaomi, so that might make a bit of a difference in performance. We'll see how that goes out, but let's just go ahead and get started in with this test. So, let's get started now. That was the Pixel. Let's go into YouTube. That was the Pixel calculator. Pixel once again. Let's go into calendar. Redmi Note 7. Clock. That was about even. Let's go into the camera. And the dot popped up there first, so I'll give it to the Pixel 3a XL. Let's go into Amazon Shopping. And that was very, very close. You know, it starts up first here, but it kind of evens out and it's, it becomes a very, very close comparison there. But, uh, so I call that a draw. Let's go into Instagram. That was the Pixel. Let's go into the Play Store. That was even. Let's go into Settings. 
Redmi Note 7, Snapchat, the Pixel slightly, very, very close, Twitter, and that's about even there once again. Let's go into Netflix. And that was the Pixel. Let's go into Temple Run 2. So a very close comparison here so far from what I'm seeing. Let's see what happens here in the gaming. It's going to be close, but I believe that the Redmi Note 7 is going to take this one. We'll find out just by how much. Just a split second. Very, very close. Let's go into Subway Surfer. See which one starts up first here. As we're waiting, and it looks like the Redmi Note 7 is going to take this one here as well. And it does by yet another split second. Let's go into Dead Trigger. So getting a little bit slower now. You know, opening 16 apps in the background. That happens. Pixel took that one over the Redmi Note 7. Now, some will say 4 gigabytes of RAM, that's nowhere near enough in 2019. You need 8, 10, 12 gigabytes of RAM to be relevant, which that's just so not true. I mean, you know, just don't have 16 apps in the background open, you know? 4 gigabytes of RAM does a very good job still in 2019, regardless of what you hear. You know, it's it's just not going to hold open 30, 40 apps in the background. You know what I'm saying? So, um, on that note, let's go ahead and check out the RAM management to see what apps are open and has to be reopened, starting with Dead Trigger on the Pixel, open. Let's go into Subway Surfer, already open. Temple Run, open. Netflix is open. Twitter is open. Snapchat, we're good. Settings, we're good. Play Store, we're good. Instagram, we're good. Amazon, we're good. Clock, reload. Calendar is open, calculator, reload, YouTube, reload, and the Bible, reload. So not bad, not bad at all. Now over here at to, to the Redmi Note 7, starting off with Dead Trigger, and we're open. Let's go into Subway Surfer, and we are good. Temple Run 2, we're good. Netflix, good. Twitter, good. Snapchat, open. Settings, we're good. Play Store, we're good. Instagram, we're good. Amazon, open. Clock, a bit of a reload, kind of a little glitch there. Calendar, open. Calculator, reload. YouTube, reload. And the Bible is a reload. If you caught that, they both had to reload the same apps at the same time. So very, very close in comparison here. Stock Android, me UI scan running over here. Both of them running Nova Launcher. I run that on every phone, regardless of what phone it is. Nova Launcher is what I use for everything. So you're so you seen it right there. Very close comparison between the two devices here. Both of them work extremely well. 670 processor, 660 processor, both running Android 9 Pie. And you have seen the test. Now your test, like I said, your test could be different depending on the speeds of your internet. But very good job here for both phones. 479 for the Pixel 3a XL, between 2 and 250 around that area, depending on who you buy it from for the Redmi Note 7. So there it is. With the Pixel, you're paying a mid-range price, mid-range specs with flagship cameras. Redmi Note 7, you're paying a budget price for mid-range specs and near flagship cameras. The cameras on this phone is amazing on the Redmi Note 7. So very good comparison there. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. If you got any questions, leave it below. If this was helpful and informative, hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.